isn't here, can you please put up your hand? Uh, your good self, please. Hello, uh, Alfonso Bianchi, Europa Today, Italy. Um, it's clear that you don't, the debate around Green Pass is all over Europe, okay, and it's clear that you don't want it. Do you have uh, an idea, an alternative that you want to propose, or do you think we just sh should do like nothing is happening and live our life normally? And regarding the obligation of vaccination, Green Pass is also about test, getting tested. You don't have to be vaccinated, you can get tested. Especially in the European Parliament, you've got the, the privilege to have free tests something that other people don't. Don't you think would be an alternative for you, just taking a test? Thank you. Mr. Nata? Yes. Thank you. Well, the fact is that it's not true that all over Europe we have COVID certificates demanded for exercising our freedom. The COVID certificate was introduced by this parliament just to favor the free circulations among, uh, between member states in the moment when the uh, borders were closed because of the pandemic uh, spread. And that's the reason why the Parliament voted for that uh, measure with the guarantee of uh, uh, not allowing any discrimination between citizens and especially for non-vaccinated -vaccin citizens. What we're seeing today is an abuse of that certificate, a distortion of its purpose, and the, the alternative uh, is just leaving people free to exercise their rights, uh, their right to free circulation, the right to, to work, the right to live a full and completely dig dignity in life in dignity. Because uh, tests are too a medical treatment and we cannot be forced even to have tests uh, each 48 hours because uh, imposing tests only to not vaccinated people is just the discrimination because it, in, it, it introduces uh, a sort of presumption, absolute presumption of being infective for people who are not vaccinated, which is totally unfounded on the scientific point of view because unvaccinated people very often are uh, immune to COVID for recovery, or in any case, are healthy, perfectly healthy people. Yeah. And the risk of being infective is uh, not related to being vaccinated or not. So there is no legal or scientific basis yeah. for this measure. Thank you, Thank very, you. Mu thank you very much. Can I, I would have liked Anderson. to uh, comment also on the question of the Italian colleague. Uh, you were posing the question whether or that testing is, is no problem, we could do this. Uh, I will strongly object to your notion um, because surely you must recognize that uh, testing unvaccinated people is merely a, a way of putting so much pressure on an un unvaccinated person so they will finally get the vaccination. Um, there is no point and no sense in that since, like I pointed out, even vaccinated people will be infectious. So if you are really concerned about uh, stopping the spread of this virus, then you need to test all people, period. That's why tests are unacceptable. Thank you. Sorry, any other questions? Well, it's, it's only for journalists, please. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, so there's nobody else online. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody uh, for tuning in, for all the journalists who came on, and to our brave MEPs who have made a stand, who want to be free people in a free country. Thank you very much, everybody, and safe home.